Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to answer the question, is it better to start a digital marketing agency or an apps company? All right, so today I want to answer a question from the last video which came from Ahmad K. He asked, he said, great experiences you have. Well, is it better to start an apps company or a digital marketing company in your opinion? Now, I actually had to look up what a digital marketing company was because I wasn't quite sure, right? It was, this is, you know, obviously I think an apps company is better because I don't even know what a digital marketing company is. But so a digital marketing company, uh, which I assume you mean is like a company that will do all your digital marketing. So they'll do your website, they'll do your social media, they'll do your newsletters, they'll do, they'll do your app too possibly. You know, they'll do everything for you or an apps company which will just do an apps an app, right? And obviously I think, you know, an apps company is better. So an apps company as a, the service side of it. So let's say you're going to start up a company uh, and you're going to do it as a service as opposed to create a bunch of apps to sell, right? There's a couple reasons behind this. The, the big one is the niche. Like I've always been really, I mean, I, you know, I started to overpass back in 2004 and had no clients. And it was just like that. It was like, you know, I did the same thing everybody does. You know, I set up a website saying, you know, we could do PHP, you know, uh, ASP, ASP.net, all this, list every technology I knew, right? And I was just a very unfocused thing. It was just like a general, like a, like a generalist kind of thing, right? So I never got any clients. I, you know, nobody ever called me, you know, I, and I was very bad at, at reaching out. And one of the things when you're starting a company that the, the hardest thing to do is to get your first customers and to get your first clients. Right? It, it may, you might think that you know, the more you offer, the, the more likely they are to go with you, but that's if they know about you to begin with. Right? So one of the things that I've always been very focused on is how people are going to find me. How are they going to find us? Is it going to be entirely me cold calling every company in the UK or, you know, or, or email, cold emailing or whatever? Or am I expecting some of them to find me? And a lot of the stuff we have is inbound. It's because, and the reason is because it's focused entirely on one area, on apps. That's our niche, right? If they say, you know, people say, well, you should say you do websites too, or you should say this, but I've tried all that, right? I'm very specific, right? If somebody calls me up, they need an app, you know, and sometimes they'll say, Can, do you do websites too? And depending on what mood I'm in, I might say yes, or I might say no. I say, yeah, we can, but that's not our core message. That's not our core branding, right? I gotta think how people are gonna find me you know, there's hundreds of companies out there and, you know, they go with the niche. I think the same thing with apps too, right? It, people always say, well, why don't you do an app that's just like a, like, just a, like a fun game that anybody can play. It's because I don't know how to, you know, I, I don't know how to market that. I think about the search engines. I, I don't think people are just going to stumble across it and say, hey, this looks fun. I think, no, they're going to say, I'm trying to learn Indonesian. So I'm going to do a search for Indonesian le learning apps. Or, I, you know, I want to look for something specific. So I've always thought that the more niche you are and the more focused your message and your branding is, the better, right? The second reason is that is the perceived value of it. Like I know a digital marketing agency, like they're probably much more talented than, than I am. You know, they can think about the whole, you know, the whole you know, image of the company that they're serving their clients and think, oh, you know, it'd be great if we had this website over here, we'll use this color schemes and we'll do this and all this kind of stuff, right? But it's also the, the perceived value of those skills is a lot lower. Like if you're gonna hire a marketer, it's gonna cost you a lot less than it's gonna cost to hire a developer, right? So, you know, what, what, like when I think about digital marketing and I've never thought about getting a digital marketing company, this is, you know, it's just something I've never, it's never occurred to me. So, so I don't really see the value in it. So again, I could be completely wrong here, but like if I needed some help with social media, my, in my opinion, Social media is something that kids do, right? So I should have to pay somebody like, you know, if I was gonna hire a company, it should not be that expensive. But if I think I need to hire somebody to, to write an application for me, I know that that's a high value skill and those people are hard to come by. So I know that I have to pay more, right? It, if, if that makes sense, I know rightly or wrongly, I know that's like a really good digital marketer, you know, would be, you know, would be perfect, but in order to establish, establish yourself that way, it'd be really difficult. Whereas with the apps, I think it's, it's much more specific. I mean, 
okay, so let's say I want to, I'm, I'm trying to decide whether or not to hire a digital marketing agency. I could walk into a bookstore and pick up a lot of books that I could read and, and I could understand them and think, oh, you know what, I think I could do this myself, right? Even though I couldn't do it nearly as well. Or I could walk over, if I won't need an app, I could walk over to the computer bookstore, to computer section, pick up a book on Objective C and think, you know, eh, screw that, I'm hiring a developer, right? So that's, that's just my opinion. I think it's a higher value skill and if somebody's gonna hire somebody more for the app thing. But mostly it's the niche. It's the niche and it's you know people calling you up. When somebody calls me, I know they need an app. You know, in fact, I'm so focused on the niche that I start every video by saying, I make apps, right? I don't I don't want there to be any confusion. I don't say I make apps and websites and I dabble. Oh, you know, I do a little PHP, I do a little bit of C sharp, I do all this. No, you know, everything else, push it aside, right? It's you know, it's no longer relevant. I make apps and that you know that's what we do. So anyway, that's just my opinion. You know, I yeah, and I know a lot of you guys might disagree with me on this. So let me know what you guys think. You know, is it better to, you know, if you had to choose between companies, and I know we're you know, a lot of you guys are app developers, but if you had to choose between a digital marketing company, which is you know very designed and also I hate doing design stuff. It's too subjective, right? There's nothing more soul crushing than putting all of your heart and soul into some design work and then handing it over to the client and then thinking yeah, you know, I don't know if I like that shade of pink, or I don't know if I like that font, right? It's just, for me, you know, the more technical we can keep it, the better. You know, it's just, it's just much easier. But let me know what you guys think. I'd be really interested to hear. And uh, let Ahmad K know what you guys think too. And uh, anyway, that's it for today. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.